What's up, YouTube? Or Sha, la get, YouTube. Why'd I say it that way? Because today, we're making a Swedish classic for all my Swedes out there. Gravlax. Hey everyone, welcome back to Chico's Table. I'm Chico, this is The Table, and today we're gonna be making Gravlax. But before we get started, as usual, I just wanna ask you guys to like and subscribe if you guys find any value or entertainment in any of this. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. So you might be wondering, what the fuck is Gravlax anyway? It's basically salmon cured in salt and sugar. And you also might be wondering, why the hell would I want to make that at home? Uh, basically, uh, it's probably because, or at least if you're anything like me, because I don't want to spend 13 to 20 bucks on a, you know, a lox or Nova lox or sturgeon bagel whenever I want one. So basically, this is what this video is for. It's to show you how to make, you know, the next best thing at home and save you some dough. Um, all you're really gonna need is your dry ingredients and some patience. All right, for step number one, as usual, we gotta gather all our materials and gear. We got our star of the show, one pound of fresh Atlantic salmon, farm raised. If you can find wild caught, even better. One bunch of dill, salt, sugar, fennel seed, coriander seed, white peppercorn, black peppercorn, lemon zest. And for the gear, you're just gonna need some cellophane and a shallow dish like this that will, you know, hold some liquid. And that's it. What we're gonna do is gonna roughly chop our dill. Just gonna tighten this up like this. that into a bowl. Then in a mortar and pestle, we're gonna add our fennel seed, our coriander seed, our black and white peppercorns, and then just mash that all up. So we had our white peppercorns, our black peppercorns, our coriander seed, and our fennel seed. And then we're just gonna mash this up like this. All right, cool, now that we got that mashed up, we're just gonna add this into the bowl like this followed by our salt, and followed by our sugar. And then lastly, our lemon zest. We give this a good mix with a spoon. Sick, now we got our curing salt. Okay, for step number three, you're gonna wanna prep your table with some cellophane. All right, now for the fun part. Let's create a bed for our salmon with our curing salt. It's basically like mummifying our salmon in a salt mixture. The salt turns the bodies into mummies. So we're gonna wanna take uh, about half of this mixture and just lay down a bed that's gonna be about as big as the salmon filet itself. You're gonna want this salt mixture to touch basically all the flesh of the salmon. So after we have our bed of salt laid down, we're just gonna lay our salmon onto the bed of salt like this. And then we're gonna take the rest of our mixture and just cover it up. What's cool is that like getting the bed of salt mixture bigger than the actual fish fillet itself, once we fold this up, it'll come over the sides and just completely cover every piece of the fish. All right, cool. Now that we've got our salmon buried in our salt mixture, we're just gonna wrap it up in the cellophane. Just gonna wanna make sure that it's nice and packed tight and that all the curing salt is in contact with all the flesh of the salmon. A pound of flesh. And that's it. Beautiful. Okay, so now that we've got our salmon wrapped in our curing salt, we're just gonna use the same tray that we were using earlier, and then we're gonna throw it in the fridge for about um, three to four days. 
You're gonna wanna flip it every day and as time passes, what you're gonna see is a bunch of liquid start to come out. That's the just curing process um, and the salt getting rid of all the moisture in the fish and that's completely normal. Um, but yeah, let's see what we got in three to four days. So one thing I forgot to mention you should do before throwing this in the refrigerator for the first day is you're gonna to wanna to weight down your fish. So one thing I typically do is I'll throw another sheet over it like this and grab some heavy cans or whatever weight that you might have lying around in the house and um, weigh this down to get even more pressure onto the fish to, for it to excrete more water. And then you just throw this back in the fridge. All right, step number six, the big reveal. It's been three or four days. Let's see what our fish looks like. So you can see that like the fish has lost most of its liquid now, the, the curing process is over. So all we need to do now is um, get rid of the curing mix in the cellophane and give it a rinse and then we can eat it. All right, now that we've rinsed our fish, all we need to do now is, um, you know, pat it dry, get some excess moisture out of it, and then set it back in the fridge for like another hour, um, just to cool it down and before we slice it up and eat it. All right, step number seven, let's taste the fruits of our labor and see what our gravlox tastes like. We're gonna slice it up, taste it first, and then we'll make a sandwich. All right, sweet, let's slice this up. I'm not very good at this, but starting from the wide side, we're gonna try to slice really thin at an angle to try to get, you know, a wide enough piece for a sandwich. That's not very thin, but let's see if we can get that in there. That's gorgeous though. We're gonna try a little piece of this. Oh yeah, that's incredible. It's salty, you can taste the dill. The sugar, it's a little bit of sweet. Holy shit. Woo, I'm pumped. It's not quite thin enough, but let's try this again. Oh yeah, that's much better. There we are, beautiful, translucent. All right, let's get like a few more pieces in. All right, great. Now that we got our thin slices of grab lots, let's make a sandwich. All right, cool. So for our sandwich, I'm just gonna freestyle this, but we got some uh, ube milk bread that I made earlier this week. And um, we're gonna use that as our base and then just kind of freestyle the rest. I think first, we're gonna start with some of this cream cheese. I've whipped with some buttermilk just to thin it out. I typically do this on a bagel, but I don't have any bagels right now, so. I think next we'll add some Malden salt, followed by some lemon zest, some capers. Lace this up with some cucumbers on one side. Get our fish on this side. Spritz a lemon. Followed by our tomato. And lastly, our red onion. We're gonna top this like this, squeeze that down. Now let's make this thing pretty by cutting off the crust. Finish it off with some dill, a little more lemon zest. 
and a little more malt and salt. Since we're freestyling this, how about some graza? All right, there we have it. It's our Gravelox in a ube milk bread, uh, chive cream cheese caper thingy. And that's a wrap everyone. Easy made gravel locks at home. Hope you guys have found this helpful or entertaining. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Holy shit.